All right, guys, we're gonna get this uh, chicken seasoned up and put in the vacuum seal bag. When you take a uh, good pinch of stuff in your vacuum seal bag, make sure you're taking fold your edges down. It keeps that edge nice and dry, so it seals better. Oh yeah, I don't know if, it, if you guys seen my other video when I got this uh, domestic knife, I finally got it sharpened, and it is nice and sharp now. All right, I'm gonna use this applewood smoke. I don't know if you guys ever tried this before, but it is really good. I make these jalapeno poppers, uh, the AB, well, they're like ABTs, uh, atomic buffalo turds, and I use this on them, along with my other mixture that I make. My mixture is a little bit different than everybody else's, but they're pretty good. All right, I'm gonna fold these ones back so we can season in all all those ones first. The other side's all salted up here, seasoned up. this one off here. When you take and put them in the sous vide, you gotta put them at like 160 for two hours. And then we'll get them out of the sous vide bag, we'll take them, pat them all down, then drop them in the deep fryer. Alright, take and get your stuff placed in your vacuum sealer. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, you can use freezer bags. You just gotta make sure they're the uh, right ones. And then take and uh, put your uh, meat or whatever in the bags and dip it right into water and it'll push the air out. Then you take and seal it and then you put it sous vide them that way. All right, guys, we got the sous vide on. It's set at 160, it's preheating right now. And I gotta figure out how to hook this to my Wi Fi because I haven't done that yet on it. But I got it at 160, I'm gonna let this preheat. After it's preheated, I'll go ahead and put my uh, chicken wings in there, get them all vacuum sealed up. Yeah. Let go two hours and then we'll get them in the deep fryer and see how they're looking. All right, guys, I'll talk to you here in a little bit. All right, guys, a little bit about my uh, sous vide machine. It's Hey guys, uh, a little bit about my uh, sous vide machine. I got a, it's a Chefsman, and I just took and hooked it to my Bluetooth, and it was actually really easy. So all I do is turn on my Bluetooth, went to the app, hit that uh, button that's blinking right now, it's the one for the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi, and then hit connect on here, and it connected right up. It was really easy. So, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see it on here or not. It says temperature's at 149. So you can watch the temperature on here, you can make it stop or go whenever you want right on here. So it's be pretty cool, I can watch the timer and everything from the other room. Alright, we're going to get this in here as soon as it gets up to the temp. We've got about 10 more degrees to go. Alright guys, our uh, sous vide is up to temperature now. We're right at 160, two hours ago. I'm actually going to go ahead and put this in there and then I'm going to use the machine to hold it down. Because this thing sits flat on the bottom. I mean, there's no suction from the very bottom, so. At least on this one. I don't know about all models. I'm going to use that just to go ahead and pinch that down. Right on the bottom there, so it don't float up at all. Really don't try to float anyways, because it doesn't have any air in it. Alright guys, it's been an hour. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And kind of move around the chicken inside the bag a little bit. Help get the seasoning around. I don't have a lid for this, so I just take it and use aluminum foil. And put this towel over top of it. And help insulate it a little bit better. So it just helps to keep it at a more constant temperature. Found them. Gonna move them around in there a little bit. Kind of helps separate them a little bit more too. They're hot. Alright, yeah. get them back in there for another hour. Alright guys, our uh, wings are done here in the sous vide. It's been two hours. We'll go ahead and get these things out of here. And we're going to get them all uh, pat dry. And then we'll take and get them in the deep fryer. Give them a nice hard crisp to them. I got my deep fryer up as high as I can possibly get mine, which is only 375. So, but it should be enough to get a good crisp on these without cooking them any more than what they already are. 
they are at 160. You can see I got a bunch more liquid. So there's a bunch of the fat that rendered out of them. Should be nice. All right, guys, let me get these all patted down here. Get them in the deep fryer. All right, they're all in there. Let's drop them. All right, guys, it's been about three minutes. All right, they look pretty good. You got a nice crisp to them. Then drain off a little bit. This is the seasoning I made. It's two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning, one package of ranch dressing, a cup of uh, Frank's Red Hot, and one stick of butter. And then we're going to stick them in the oven just for about just a couple minutes, just so they get uh, the sauce kind of thickens up on them. Set this over here so I don't drop anything in here and get burned. I've got a wire rack here. I take put them on this wire rack so they can get air all the way around them. Thicken that sauce right up. All right, guys, our time is up here. Let's shut this oven off. I mean, look at those. A nice crisp to them. They're not really slimy or anything. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and give these all uh, wings a try out. Get some of that blue cheese up on there. Blue cheese is all starting to melt because the wings were so warm still, which is good. Oh man, they're really good. Really good and they're really tender inside. Some mouth bone. Oh. Definitely gotta give these ones a try. I think I put everything down in the description, how I made the sauce and everything. The name brand of the uh, applewood smoke. Oh man, these are really good. Man, um, okay, nice, and, nice and juicy inside still. A little bit of crisp on the outside, so juicy. Oh my god, so good. The blue cheese, uh, the dried blue cheese on there. Blue cheese crumbles, you don't really need to dip them in anything. Add a little bit of spice to them, nothing much. Man, they're probably one of the best ones I've made. Alright guys, there you have it man. These wings are the bomb. You guys gotta try these out. It's a great recipe. Alright, I'll talk to you all later. Peace!